those who carried out this attack, as well as anyone who wishes America harm, know this. We will not forgive. We will not forget. Breaking news tonight at 6. In the last few hours, President Biden addressed the nation on the deadly explosions that happened in Kabul this morning. Biden says the U.S. will complete its evacuation despite the attacks and has voiced his plans to avenge the deaths of U.S. military service members. We will not be deterred by terrorists. We will not let them stop our mission. We will continue the evacuation. I've also ordered my commanders to develop operational plans to strike ISIS-K assets, leadership, and facilities. We will respond with force and precision at our time, at the place we choose, in the moment of our choosing. More than 70 people were killed in the attack. Officials just confirmed the 13th death of a U.S. service member in the last few minutes. Afghan officials say at least 60 civilians died. Nearly 150 people were wounded, including a number of American military personnel. The group ISIS-K has claimed responsibility for the attack. ISIS is an enemy of the Taliban. The incident comes just days before a massive airlift that drawed thousands of people looking to leave Afghanistan amid the Taliban takeover. Officials say as of today, there's 5,000 evacuees on the ramp awaiting airlift. Several Missouri leaders have spoken out regarding the attacks in Kabul. Governor Mike Parson responded, saying the Biden administration's, quote, negligence have cost American military families unnecessary heartbreak. U.S. Senator Josh Hawley called for President Biden's resignation, saying the attacks are a product of, quote, catastrophic failure of leadership. Senator Roy Blunt also went on Twitter, saying the incident is a result of, quote, a poor planned execution. U.S. Representative Vicki Hartzler also responded, saying the attacks underscored the need for a, quote, thorough and well-thought-out withdrawal plan. Representative Blaine Luke DeMeyer says the withdrawal plan has ended lives and threatens thousands more. Of course, we're going to continue to follow this story tonight.